Hi guys, so I'm here with the Cube Thinker i35 and I've got some really good news for a lot of you out there asking about the stylus. Now thank you so much to the guy that gave me this tip in the comments. I picked up here the Surface Pen and yes, it does work on this 100%. I kind of thought it might work when I set up and did a fresh install of Windows on this. Straight away the touch drivers, they worked and the screen has been just so accurate and responsive. It led me to believe, is this using the same touch digitizer and stylus tech as the Surface? And well, yes, it is as the Surface Book. If you connect it up via Bluetooth, then you're going to get the button there. So you press that, you get into the Windows Ink workspace. And of course, double tapping will then take a screenshot. So those Surface and Surface Book, Surface Pro 4 features, they work. Now the stylus using it on the screen works to me and feels exactly like my Microsoft Surface Pro 4 that I used to own. I had it for about half a year. And then the Surface Book that I had for a week, to me it feels exactly the same. It is exactly the same stylus, of course, and then the screen using the same stylus tech. Okay, so a lot of you have been asking just how you're going to write on the screen when it, you can't light flat. It's not a tablet. It's a touch notebook, basically. It's not the same, is it? Of course. So I found that when you tap the screen using touch, that um, it has a bit of that wobble. Now, I've seen this on Dell Premium laptops of touch screens as well. It seems to be something that you can't really avoid unless you've got something supporting the top of it. So I found that you can write, you can put your hand here behind it. And then you can write like that, which isn't that great. Now, if you're an artist, I'm not too sure what the best option would be to either recline it right back, uh, maybe get something to prop it up against, and then you can write with it there. Uh, the other thing is I thought that maybe we could put the screen right back, which you can do, of course, and then it's a lot easier to use the stylus. I think that's why Cube designed the hinge to only be 180. Well, they should have made it 360, of course, so you could flip it right around, then use it solely as a tablet. That's about the only thing, really, that this notebook is lacking. So the screen's lying down flat now, and I'm in OneNote. I'm just going to have a quick little sketch here where I'll just draw some lines that people want me to do and also see if I can use it like a ruler. I'll also don't forget that with the Surface Pen, you've got those different uh, tips on there, so you can change them the different styles for you artists out there. But I don't know really if this is going to be ideal for an artist because I'm not one myself, so I can't comment on that. Okay, to me, it feels really good because it's got that rubber tip on there. And as mentioned just before, it feels just like the Surface Book or you're using a, a Surface Pro 4 screen. Now, I'm not too sure what people want to see. You can leave things in the comments. Just bear in mind that I've got a lot of review units at the moment. I don't have time to download and install Illustrator and other things and programs that I just don't own as well. But if I try and use it now as a ruler, I don't have a plastic ruler, but I'm going to use the box for the pen. And that seems reasonably straight there. Now, pressure sensitivity and the rejection and hover features. Hover, I can see, works just, again, like the Surface Pen because it is the Surface Stylus. So. So of course, the harder I press, the thicker that gets. And the performance of it seems good, aided by the fact that we've got the Core M3, 7Y30, and eight gigabytes of RAM. So now back in the desktop, I'm gonna use the button feature just to bring up um, Sketchpad. It's of course a, a Windows application, and just have a little quick test of this.
Okay, so shading in there, coloring in there, no problems. And it feels good, really good performance. I'll go on to the, the pencil setting there and we'll take a look at that. Now, I'm no artist, so that's about all you're going to get from me, just some scribbles. Plain and simple writing. I'm just going to try and write a sentence there. Okay, you can see what happened then. I've pressed down on the keyboard, which is in the way, so we really need a way to disable the whole keyboard if you're going to be leaning across the top of it. I don't know where there is a shortcut or way to do that with the keyboard itself. I can see only a way to disable the, um, the touchpad there. So that could be a bit of a problem. The other thing I thought about is, to, is we could reverse the screen around, but it doesn't have an accelerometer. So it's not going to actually uh, flip and reverse the screen if we reverse the whole notebook. Okay, so one last go. I'm going to try and to see if I can write on it, holding it, the screen, and just try and write a line. Hopefully I can do that successfully. It's not exactly comfortable. Uh, I think it really does need to be lying flat to make that useful. So unless you're someone that's accustomed to using it at this angle, I guess you could, you could adjust it like that, but for writing, I think if you're sketching and doing things, that might be possible for people that are used to painting, having something upright. But for practical writing, I don't really see that as being that good. I was just try again. I mean, this is a little messy. And then the screen is bouncing a little, not making it exactly the best there. Okay, so this is just a preview of the stylus. Uh, sorry, I haven't gone really into too much depth there. I will try some other programs like Adobe Photoshop that I have in the full review, but you can see that the stylus performance to me is exactly the same as the Surface Book or the Surface Pro 4, but we do have things like the little bit of bounce you get when you're touching the screen. Um, I'm rocking it there and making it even worse when you're writing against it, and the fact you can't lie it flat. I hope to catch you back in the full review of the CubeThinker i35. Thank you so much for watching.